Hello everybody and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. If this is a new episode, if not, yay. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Um, I want to get, <laughs> I want to spend another two hours trying to get the next, this. Not this, but you know, this, but you, 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 you don't know. I don't know. Um, I think we just need to head just out. I keep pressing C, which is what you do in Final Fantasy, to to like back out of a menu. Path. And I've been playing that game for like years at this point, Final Fantasy 12. And I finished it luckily right before this game came out, but it's still, you know, it's still in my in my in my DNA. Oh, I guess only one? We only needed one? It seems like the kind of thing we're gonna need more of. Kinda like Gale, I, I think I've fallen in love with the two, uh, the two people with addictive habits. Wait a sec, why? It... Hang on. Gale? Is Gale okay? I didn't tell him to stay at camp. I have my two devils with me though. <laughs> That's a nice look. Are you Oh, I remember. I, would be nice. I had them I had him leave so I could bring Shadow Heart. That's right. Go ahead. I'm listening. Ah, uh, yes. With pleasure. Lead off. Yes, I did that because I needed... Well, I didn't need, but I thought I needed Shadow Hearts Radiant stuff. Apparently not. I still gotta, I don't know, when we get further, maybe after we save the Druid, Halson. I will look it up if we haven't figured out how to destroy a book of necromancy. Who could I take it to? If not, like, Gale that would know how to break such a thing. You think I would? The Oath of the Ancients is specific, does, does not like undead. So you think I could figure out how to break a very powerful thaumaturgic book? It's fine, I'm apparently just like a barely out of being a novice. Oh, I don't know if I ever read that. I'll be cursed. How fares the search? We've got it. Please let this work. She looks like she's sweating mm. bullets. The weight of it. And that blaze of chaos. I can't imagine this where my heart should be. Must be quite the experience. Give me just a moment. And I think... That's it? There. You'll have to install it, I'm afraid. I don't think there are thick enough gloves in all the realms to protect from that kind of heat. Did you just tear her chest open? That feels... He got... He Good. just watched her tear her chest open! I'm still burning hot as hell's hole, but I feel less... Changeable. Cheers, mate! Pleasure. And as for the heat, I haven't got any solutions now, but I'm not giving up. Could be if the combustion chamber had its own insulation, or if we had some kind of enchanted coolant. Find me again in Baldur's Gate. If I'm worth my salt, I'll have figured something out. This man is actually care, Carl, very beautiful. And hopefully the next time I see you, I'll have something promising to report. Pocket any infernal iron you find along the way, hmm? That's why I thought we needed more. What I wouldn't do for better tools. Oh, can I fund you? 
I, I, I have no money right now after the respec. We're exposed now. Damon's upgrade didn't cool me down, but it did juice That's me bad. Up. I don't think I've ever felt more powerful. I think he watched her take her top off, sort of, and like shove her, open up her chest, and and put it in there. And I'm very jealous. <laughs> also, it's sort of like, oh my, like I'm sure if, as a mechanic, he was probably like, holy cow, like look at the inner workings on that, you know? Uh, I still can't touch you though. Do you want to? Yeah! Uh, yes, of course I do. I'd like that. Now, let's find that infernal iron before I overheat. <laughs> okay, I wasn't sure if I should be too forward, but I, I am. Like, I'm a paladin, and I thought I was trying to kind of play hard to get, but I'm like, no. <laughs> I just, just... I think also it wouldn't be like a, like a raunchy, like, of course I do, but I think, honestly, my paladin's just like, of course, like, who wouldn't? Like, you're beautiful, you're stunning, you're powerful, you know? Like, she's, I think she really respects her as, like, a powerful warrior and thinks she's just stunningly beautiful and funny. I do. I think she's funny. And, uh... So yeah, I think she would just be like, of course, like, of course I wanted to touch you, <laughs> I think you're wonderful, you know? Just very straight-faced. Let Damon sleep on a solution, okay. Die if I, I think an upgrade wasn't a good idea, she, we're I'll trying to cool her off. Little, we should find him in Baldur's Gate and bring Infernal Iron with us too. Well, where's the other? I totally... Oh, I don't even know if I should say this, but I totally didn't think... I totally spaced the fact that House is at the Druid encampment. What did I do when I got there? I got distracted by Volo. I was like, hmm, yep, I got Volo. And then I thought of that, like, young guy. And I was like, hmm, yep, well, he's in there somewhere, too. Also, I totally got the, uh... Where is the the fast travel point to the goblin? Did I die after that? Did I just not? Oh my gosh! There's a there's a fast travel waypoint in the goblin village, just like over here. Uh, to the blighted village we go. Oh, uh, so I got distracted, and I went the wrong way. Um, but I am actually curious what's up here, and and now Gail is um, uh, having issues. But I don't know if I've got anything for the guy. My condition likes being ignored as little as I this do. This is going. I must consume another. Artifact. This feels fast. And soon. This feels faster, but I have been taking more rests. Fine. Thank you. How long are we gonna do this? My supply of magic. What happens when I run out? Good God! Why don't you find your own? It hardly has any effect. Oh, Mister, have mercy on us all. Listen, I need to speak to you, to all of you. It'll be unconscionable of me to remain silent. Ooh, I'm ready. I'm all ears. Go on, uh, you're among friends. I might just be about to remedy that. Uh-oh. You have to know who I was. You have to know who I really Oh, am. a secret past. What I am is a walking shadow of the promise I once held. I'm what one might call a wizard prodigy. Who from an early age could not only control the weave, but compose it. Much like a musician or a poet. Such was my skill that it earned me the attention of the mother of magic herself. The lady of mysteries. The goddess Mistra. She revealed herself to me and she became my teacher. Wow. Time, she became my muse. And later even my lover. Oh my gosh, he slept with a goddess. 
Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! He, I, I, I straight up believe him. But like, oh, like I don't know. He might be, might be lying. But I'm super gullible. IRL and in the game, I guess. <laughs> like, holy! The fact that she thought he was worth that. Wow. Wow. Like, goddesses don't just necessarily sleep with any randos, you know? Um, well, uh, as a paladin, few would dare to reduce a goddess to their muse. Or are you telling me you made love to a goddess? I mean, he did. That these both seems like that, that seems dumb, and this seems dumb. This one seems the most reasonable. I am, after all, the villain of the town. Oh, I love villains. We enjoyed each other's company, body, mind, and soul. But even so, I desired. Ah, I was never satisfied. See, no matter how powerful a wizard we mortals can become, we never scratch more than the surface of the weave. Mistra keeps us in check. There are boundaries she doesn't let us cross. Yet, every time I was with her, I stood on the precipice, gazing into the wonders that lay beyond. I sought to cross her boundaries. Hmm. You thought you knew better than... No, dang. I, that's kind of a paladin -y response. You're more... But I don't think he's an idiot. But I guess I didn't say idiot. A fool. You can be very intelligent and still be a fool. Uh, but I, I think I'd rather say you, th you thought you knew better than Mishra. That's a fool's errand or something. Not like, oh, I already think you're a fool. Like, I don't. I don't think he's a fool. I think this particular <laughs> choice he made was foolish. But how exactly did you try to cross these boundaries? I tried to convince her. I pouted. I pouted. I pleaded. Swore my ambition was only to serve her better. But she only smiled and told me to be contented. But inconceivable as it seems to me now, I shared a bed with a goddess. Yeah. And yet I wasn't satisfied. So I sought to prove myself worthy. This is this is bold, very bold. I come now to the crux of my folly. Shall I share the story behind it, or would you rather head straight to its sordid finale? I cannot believe this man was a prodigy. A magic prodigy who slept with a goddess. Who slept with the with the goddess of his, like... I mean, he's a wizard, but, like, the goddess of, like, his... I don't know, like, life's work. And he was like, can I have some more, actually? It's like, my dude, my guy! Oh. But humans are vainglorious creatures, and they're never satisfied. They're always constantly reaching. It's one of our better traits, and it's one of our worst traits. So, I need all the details. Very well. Here goes. Once upon <laughs> a very long time ago, -uh. a mighty lord lived in a tower. No way. A flying tower, to be precise. A long time ago, really? I'll save his history for another time, but the gist of it is that he sought to usurp the goddess of magic uh, so he could become a god himself. No! He almost managed, but not quite. His entire empire, Netheril, came crashing down around him as he turned to... No! Him. The magic that was unleashed that day was... phenomenal. Roiling like the prime chaos that outdates creation. He's that old? Even the weave itself could not withstand the onslaught. Fractured. Then shattered, and all magic was lost to the mortal realms until the day Mistra returned. She restored the weave, reuniting all its scattered shards. Or so I thought. Until, in the course of my oh, studies, dang I it. a book. A Netherese tome in which a piece of the fractured weave had been sealed beyond her reach. What if, I thought, what if, after all this time, I could return this lost part of herself to the goddess? Here, I, okay, for a second, for like a first minute, I was thinking he was the guy. And he might still be like a king of it, like a, an empire. Like, he, or like, I don't know, maybe if he was like the king of the empire or the emperor or whatever. But he was like, he caused his empire to fall. 
like, you know, maybe not, like, his, like, I'm the ruler of it, but, like, just the empire he resided in. And he was in a flying tower, and he says he's a former, sh- he's a shadow of his former self, and, like, maybe he was the one who did do all of that, who slept with her and then tried to usurp her, you know, and then now he was, he was trying to, like, get back in her good graces by, like, giving her back the final piece. I don't know, maybe I'm making stories up. I guess you rule out flowers and chocolates. <laughs> You're akin to emptying a cup of water in the sea. Um, what was the answer to that question? The answer was to try. And the outcome was to fail. I think he's got it embedded in him. I was certain that this deed of raw power, draped in romance, would convince Mistra to take me by the hand and welcome me into her hitherto forbidden domain. Maybe it was for the best. I was mistaken. Yeah. I obtained the fabled book and took it into my study. As for what happened next, here, place your hand over my heart. Let me show you. I mean, you could have stood. So he's got the tadpole quiver as he realized Gale is letting you in. Yikes! Oh no. Why was he mad about the necromancy book? After this, its teeth, its claws, it's unstoppable as it digs through and becomes part of you. And gods, is it ever hungry? He's got, he has got a part of the weave embedded in him. Um. <sighs> How are you still alive? Thankfully, the moment I absorbed the fragment wasn't enough to kill me outright. It was only the beginning. Least <laughs> those two in the back. I don't know. I think he. This netherese blight. This orb, orb, for lack of a better word, is balled up inside my chest. And it needs to be Why fed. didn't Mr. help you? As long as I absorb traces of the weave from potent enough sources, it remains quiet. Were it ever to fully destabilize, however. She's still, he's probably doing it back there too, like, ah oh, jeez, ah oh, nah. Um okay, so I was making up a bit of a story. Maybe we still haven't had it disproven. Um but why the, why wouldn't Mr. help him after this? You know what I mean? Like maybe we're going to get to that, but you will die. Rather worse, actually. I will erupt. Yeah. I don't know the exact magnitude of the eruption, but given my studies of Netherese magic, I'd say even a fragment as small as the one I carry it would level a city the size of Waterdeep. I kind of don't know why, and this whole time I haven't really been sure why he's willing to walk around other people, like, by cities, like, by villages, you know, like, by innocent people. He's like a ticking time bomb, just walking around. Mm. Did you ever think what happened if the tadpole got the better of you? Mmm. Every waking moment. Every dreaming moment, too. But there was no way out. All of this. It must feel like a betrayal. Say the word, and we'll part ways. I didn't emphasize it very well, but I did pick a bit more of one that was like, I can't, like, unbelievable. Like, did you ever think, did you think, you know, about what would happen if the tadpole got, you know, got the better of you, or if something went wrong, you know? And it's like, I. He does. He doesn't seem cool, but he does seem like he's hell bent essentially on not becoming, not blowing up, which is fine. But he seems to be putting, and I'm talking like villain. I'm not talking us, like kind of us, but like just random people that are in the area that could just blow up, and they wouldn't have no idea why, you know. Um. Oh, I am kind of curious. If we were to part ways, where would you go? Once I'd step out of the protective aura of the artifact. Oh. It wouldn't be long before the absolute overtakes me. 
I've never let that happen, so I'd aim for a swift end. I would consume some midnight tears and venture as deep into the Underdark as I possibly could. Till they cloud my eyes forever. With a bit of luck, I'd manage to make it to a Mind Flare colony so that when the orb erupts, one loud last song of vengeance would reverberate through the dark. I don't know if I believe that. A heroic end, but coarsely poetic enough in its justice. Truly. Blowing up a Mind Flayer coven. Um, I'm not sure if he's the type to, like, go down and die in the dark. But I think he is the type to blow up an in to die in an explosion, so maybe. Uh, I would hear what the others say first. Gale's one of us, and we should stand by his side. Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> We're all risky in our own ways. We stick together anyway, right? So I don't, I mean, I, don't, I didn't want him to go away, but I was curious what the others would say. We've come this far together and we'll continue on together. That is how it will be. That is a great relief. Oh, a great relief indeed. You truly are a soul that steals my own. From all my new rallied heart, I thank you. We're doing a bunch thank of you all. heart work. I understand if you stand against me. I'm humbled if you stand with me. Either way, I will do my best not to let you down. I stand at a precipice. But if <laughs> you do not give up hope, neither shall I. I'll fight. I'll resist as long as I what can. What a speech. Now, even I am tired of the sound of my own voice. Let us venture forth. That did that did go on maybe two lines too long. Uh, but, you know, I don't, I don't fault him. <laughs> We are doing a lot of uh, heart surgery, you know, like heart work. Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't know how else to like say it, but uh, we're fixing up her heart, like physically having her open her chest and stick metal in there, and we're having him fix his heart because he's like a piece of the magic weave that like keep the the weave of magic itself. It's in his chest. She has a piece of hell in her chest. Will you got anything? Got anything you want to get off your chest? <laughs> <laughs> I'm hilarious. So I had to walk away for a second, but I did just realize that both of the people that I find myself drawn to are the ones with the exploding insides. <laughs> the ones who are alive. Because I guarantee you that's, that's her thing. She probably, she doesn't really think about it too much, but I guarantee you, like, if we don't take care of her internal, like, engine thing, it'll explode. And it'll like maybe open like a portal to the nine hells or something. <laughs> and he will freaking explode and like, I don't know, open a, like a rip in the weave. Like, I don't know. Anyway, I love them both. <laughs> and uh, I just love the ones who are ticking time bombs is essentially what I've discovered about myself. <laughs> uh, before I even knew that they were ticking time bombs, I already liked them. Uh... But hopefully Gala doesn't need any more. Anyway, we're gonna go which way? This stupid compass. We're gonna go this way. How exciting for us. I gotta scrounge for food for my children. I admire your courage, Gail. Thank you. Any particular reason? Between the orb and the bug, you've got more than your fair share of unwelcome passengers. What can I say? Mother always told me to be a gracious Oh host. my gosh. Just another crate. Maybe I should um Maybe I should uh What was the word? I should try to talk like her, like with like a, to me it sounds like a kind of a Scottish accent, but I don't know, freaking, I don't know, I'm an American. <laughs> I don't know, nothing. <laughs> More for me? More for me? I can't, I don't, I don't know. What is, it, is this part of, what is this? Is this part of the, is this 
Part of the goblin camp? Oh. Oh, shoot. Uh, it looks like we might be getting close to the... So it is Ooh. So is it uh... I'm gonna save. Smoke. Something's burning. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. I don't. I was trying to. Oh, okay. The unsleeping eyes. Grant me the might to carry this burden. Grant me the faith to face darkness without fear. More paladins. Okay, yes, Paladin, let the prayer finish. The dead should be honored as their oath commands. Steal our blades and temper our hearts for the battles in this life and next. To die for a cause is noble, but still tragic. I'm sorry. Dang, I, tr I should try to sound like her a little bit. So I'm not, like, talking like myself. He should never have been here in the first place. I'm the one that talked him into joining the fist. May I ask what happened here? A massacre. Drow and goblins slaughtered eh, the lot. Uh, Please, just leave me be. I'm surprised she's speaking amicably to me. People don't like me, eh, and especially if this was a drow and a goblin thing. Seeing drow on the surface, that's wild. Like, I say that. That makes me sound like all the other, like, racist people. Not necessarily racist, I guess. They're people that are surprised to see a drow on the surface, because it really isn't that common. But, I... I it is shouting. Someone needs help. Faded drow leather armor, that's cool. Um, Excellent armor. Oh. Drow craft, of course. Of course. I like that. That's good to know. I am proud of being a drow. Sounds too bright. What did he say? I can't... I couldn't hear him. I'm glad nobody seems to mind. Okay, no, we do not loot the Flaming Fist mercenaries. We'll never put this fire out. You're better off helping anyone trapped inside. Oh, uh, in the in here? Oh, oh, geez. What's going on? Let me in. I'm strong. Keep pushing. Duke Raven Guard could be inside. On count of three. One, two. Raven Guard. He's here. Yes. Now make yourself useful. Push, damn it. Push. Oh, these are names. You heard her will get in there. I am strong. I just upped my strength. So, haha. -ha. If I fail this, I'll cry. <gasps> Yay! My bonus helped. My change helped. I wouldn't have succeeded if I hadn't done it. Oh yes! Yeah, I'm so Hurry, we don't have much time. I'm so cool. Um, I don't really necessarily care if there's a lord in there. Um, but but if there are other people, what is this? Rescue the Grand Duke. Um. Uh. Okay, I I'll look. Um. I I am assuming that um. Oh my gosh. Oh. In here. Oh. Anyone? Oh, I see. He's upstairs. Okay. I was like, why is she floating? Um, okay. We got to go upstairs. I will loot later. Hey, there's water here. You could use that. You nerds, use the water. Um Wait, here, no. Gail, you like books. Come here, take this one. Most excellent. Oh! 
The girl. I knew the girl is a traveling folk with a reputation for fortune telling, but you only start to know people when you sit down and share a tale. At the side of a road over a pot bubbling stew, they told me they were the children of Saloon. Okay. And claim the history stretching back to ancient Russia and men itself. Girl, tell, le, girl legend tells of two young Waklarin witches who refused to follow the instructions of their elders. In frustration, the older witches turned the young maidens into songbirds and locked them in a golden cage, saying if they refused to learn, at least they could make music. But the white Laren escaped and flew across Verun. Eventually exhausted, they landed in the garden of a cleric who blessed them in the name of Saloon, breaking the curse and transforming them back into human form. Since then, they have been Saloon's children. Hmm. Hmm. I have a lot of questions on that. How do you call yourself Saloon's child if she didn't even... I mean, I mean, I don't know. You weren't even... I don't know. You weren't born into it. You just, she just, like, blessed you. She blesses a lot of people, I think. All Gur people trace their line back to these young maidens. Indeed, some Gur matriarchs even take maiden as a title. Of course, as the beloved of Saloon, they no longer practice the white chlar and witchcraft, witchcraft, but some say it remains in the blood, that it lets them catch glimpses of the future. It was a magnificent tale and some excellent stew, but was any of it true? I shall investigate when I reach Russian and perhaps they tell a different story. Fascinating, honestly. That's good to know. Because I felt kind of dumb when someone, when they were like talking about the Gur, and I was like, I have no idea what you're talking about. Like Peter will be served a firestorm. Oh. Oops. Alright. Um, so okay, busting down a busting down a, a door with a fire behind it is not a good idea. I just clicked on I just clicked in the room and they all freaking They busted down the door. Okay. I am strong. Who are you? You're not the Lord, though. Are you the arsonist? Suspicious. Of course everyone approves. This is why I like this squad. They're nice to me. <laughs> Do we get out of here? I throw you out the window. The door's that way. Come on. <coughs> right. I'll try to keep up. Well, we also. Are you what? Are you? Are you okay? Do I have to help you? I just I just took that off of you and you were fine. Um, but this is not the guy. Yeah, we need to find the Grand Duke and fast. Hopefully I can loot the house later. Um, dang, Nabbit, I don't, we don't have any, oh, we do have ice, though. Salutations. Um. Okay. I'm a little unhappy at having to, oh no waste my what we are in combat why are we in combat okay good okay I was like what are we doing why are you guys walking through the fire like why are they I don't know why. I don't know why they're walking through the fire. I made a clear path. Maybe that's why I was in that mode. That makes sense. Uh, but why can't your people path around obstacles? Like, that seems weird. Now I have to do that all over again. Oh, I have water bottles, too. I can throw water bottles. That's right. Water flasks. Help! Oh! Anyone? So I got I greedy it. and started looking around in these in this building. And apparently there's somebody in this building still. There's charred corpses below. Um a lot on my mind. And well, in it. And this person is named, so I feel Maybe. bad. Um 
Well, here, uh, I can probably break this door down. Break it. Do it. Attack. Attack. Oh! What? Get me out! There wasn't fire in there. Why are the walls explosive? Where did I even go? Where am I? Oh, I'm way back there. How did I get back there? How are you still alive? Why is everybody shirtless? Yeah, I'm trying to... I can't... Where... Did I... I can't reach him. <coughs> what? Fire! Hurry! Get this thing off me! You aren't you in the other house? I am confused. Oh no! Well. Dumb! Just go. I'm done for. She just shrugged. Like, mm, oh well. Ah, uh, did he just die? <laughs> I sh <sighs> Oh, this is in the house. Oh. I just went in a different way. Okay, so this whole house is like part of a mansion. Um. <coughs> oh, that's really, that's dumb. I'm gonna, no. No, I would try again to save him. Uh, like, I feel like it's dumb that they only... Like, I get it. It's like a game thing. Like, otherwise, you just keep trying until you, like, inevitably succeeded. But, like, that's what you would do in real life if you want me to, like, put a timer on it. Like, make something explode. Don't just let him sit there. Like, give me, like, three tries. You know? And then the third try, everything explodes. Or the fire gets too close or something. You know? But I'm just gonna stand there and let the guy die. I'd at least stab him. And, like put him out of his misery like dying by suffocation of smoke or fire or being burnt alive has to be one of the worst ways to die welcome to Joaquin's rest west Baldur's Gate east El Torel oh El Torel is where the teeth tieflings came from I actually talked to the Zoro guy the main guy with my druid and that's what he told me he said that the, that's why there were all those tieflings all together is because that town El Torel got pulled down into the nine hells and then a group of adventurers came and saved it, um, and brought it back up again. Um, and, but then after that, nobody liked, everyone called the tieflings devilkins. So all the teeth, well, many of the tieflings from the city left. So that's why it's a big group of tieflings traveling together. Because they don't generally have just, like, cities of tieflings. Like, they're generally in cosmopolitan areas. Like, at least as far, at least in the D&D, like, player handbook guide, you know. Hmm... These boots have seen everything. These boots are Smoke. made for walking. Something's burning. And I keep doing this same quest over and over. <laughs> Too bright. So that's what it is. The drow craft thing. He's like, not much magic left, though. The sun's too bright. It's about my drow shirt. Or my, the drow armor I just picked up. So that's good to know that the drow armor is not as effective in daylight. Um, that don't, as far as I know, though, there's not... um. There's not day-night cycles in this, which is a bit of a bummer. Maybe it's just like in the shadows. I don't know. He says things like your desire. I'm like, oh my, my god. We've already read this one. Like I think of everybody when I switch to them, he has the most like seductive responses, but like unintentionally. Like Asterian's like Please. intentionally doing it. Gales is like almost casual. The man slept with the goddess though, so like. Yeah, <laughs> like, he knows what he's about. <laughs> Apparently, walking through here is dangerous, and we are being blinded. I was just kind of willy-nilly running. Uh, shoot. Water. I think the fire is getting bigger. Which is very not fair. I friggin'. 
I'm not really sure why Will is down there. All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could All's well that ends what? Like, where are you guys? Everything blew up. I don't know how to open doors that... I <laughs> oh, we're... <gasps> we got, like, knocked down here? What the heck? Come on, Will. It's time to go. I think he's gonna die. Yeah, he's gonna die. Hang on, we are reloading. I don't know how to open the door. You're not some. How do I? Because the other way broke too. Like, and it, even though, like, those ones that were already partially broken, like, airflow wouldn't be interrupted. You know, like, it wouldn't, it wouldn't cause, like, a gust of oxygen to come in and ignite. Because there's already open gaps there, like, big ones. So the fact that the broken ones do it too is frustrating. I don't know. I wonder if we crouch through here if that would help. Cause you know how you're supposed to stay low. We hear you. It's all, stay where you it's are. all group 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 we crouch. Help. I'm not trying to hide, I was trying to stay low. Okay, we gotta go. We gotta go fast, because the fire did spread earlier. What are you rolling for? Oh, the hiding. Uh, okay, well, there's somebody in here. Okay, let's go over here. The heat coming off that door. Opening it could spell yeah. trouble. Yeah, okay, well, let's do this one. This one does not have fire behind it. I was like, if it blows up, I'll be very unhappy. Yes, you can. You can get over there. Oh, uh, maybe jump? Okay, jump. Okay. Oh, what? Oh. Um, can I? I oh, okay, so she'll die. But it said the Grand Duke was like, I have no idea what's going on. I can only save one at a time. Thank you all for joining me. This is the part of the video where I usually say thank you to my patrons, to all of my patrons, including the Acorn patrons. Thank you so much, Adam, for your support. I very much appreciate it, my friend. And also thank you to Fane, my other Acorn tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. I very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to Riskalito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. It's been a long time and I appreciate it a lot. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to my forest tier patron, Christopher, who's gone above and beyond in his support of the channel and of me and who I cannot say thank you to enough. So thank you all again for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.